Today we've got this 2023 Chevrolet Traverse in the sterling gray metallic uh, redline package. This is a sub package on the Premier. I'll just be going over some features on this particular one right now. Of course your headlights and your running lights are down below. They have raised these up from 2021 model. And you have the nice running lights that run through here on the front. All the redline packages have this black chrome style grill on all of them. There is a surround vision camera. Here's one of your cameras on the front. We'll be going over that later in the video of the cameras. All red line packages have the 20 inch wheels with the red hash marks and the badging. So you can see it's got little red and black badging as well as your mirror with the red line logo on there. They got the, the, the a gloss black bottom on these red line packages. Excuse me. Most Traverse have the black, like a plastic black, kind of like this stuff here at the bottom. Except it's the whole, this whole panel. Your dual exhaust outlets. Their subtlety there is you have your black chrome on the back here as well. And there's your rear vision camera and your backup camera right there on the back. Another subtlety on these red lines is all the all the uh, door belt moldings are black. A little bit sporty there. And your door handles are black. Pretty cool. Be going inside to show you the rest. We're in this 2023 Chevrolet Traverse. Just going to go through some stuff on here it does have of course power locks and windows and power 40 mirrors are right there that folds the mirrors in and then over to the right you want to see all the equipment this traverse has it does have the intellibeam headlights are here for this feature to work your lights have to be on and you'll push this button to turn that on of course, your cruise control, your heated steering wheel, your Ford collision alert. That housing is up here. That just shows you how far you are from another car. If I hit this button, you can adjust how far the gap is. I always leave it on the third one. This is your driver information center, which shows you all these goodies up here. Your push to talk for your Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or Bluetooth. And that just hangs up the button. As well as your wipers are on the right stem. This vehicle has surround vision, it has all your camera views. I've already put it on there. You can cycle through different views. There's quite a bit. I like this view particularly because it shows you the orientation of what the vehicle will hit, which is really nice. I'll go to our back to home just to show where that's at. You can also swipe over. This one also has the navigation. Pretty great. Of course, your tactile buttons here. You have a secret little cubby hole you can lock. And this one has ventilated and heated front seats. Of course, driver and passenger climate control as well as rear climate control. Below there, you got a, your SD card, USBs, a... Um, we call it a, like a cigarette lighter style power outlet as well as your wireless charging. And of course these are a 9 speed automatic transmission. You do have a little button there to control what gear you're in. And it will go up to actually. It's not in. It's what it will go up to. Parking brake. Auto stop. On and off button. This is called your lane departure warning and lane keep assist. Now if you notice on these, if your Traverse has a towing package, it'll also have a tow haul mode. And to do that, you'll just go over, you have off-road mode and then tow haul mode's there. You can just hit it one more time and it'll go back like a little circle. Inside, get this real deep cubby hole. Pretty deep. Above here, you do have your rear camera, rear mirror camera. It's right here. Has some adjustments 
on the bottom. Great stuff. And you got your, your sunroof. This has a power. I'll just kind of spin it around the show. And you can shut that and open that now from the front. And of course, this one has a little button for bringing the sunroof out that way. Pretty cool, let's go to the back. We're back all the way in the third row. I'm just showing you do have USB chargers everywhere on this Traverse. Even one right here. I'm gonna lift this seat up. These seats can be adjusted uh, right there. There's a bar and this simply folds the seat down. And in the back, on this Premier model, you do have heated seats for the, the two outboard seats near the door, a 120 volt outlet, two more chargers. And this one's equipped with the rear floor liners, which is very cool. I'm gonna go to the back here. Open this up. As you can see, it does have the cargo liner as well. What's really nice is it protects the back of the seats. You'll just pull this cable and that'll let the seats down. Move that back up. And here's extra storage. You can see these little wing nuts. You'll use these to take these off. And it just shows you where the location for your spare is and how to get to it. And as promised, here is the window sticker for this model. If you want to pause on any of these sections and read them, it will show you what is on this particular model. Kind of just kind of one, two, and so on. Any questions at all? Here to help. There's your red line package on this vehicle and your options. And right there, 53820. Save a bunch here and your mileage. Uh, we've once broke 30 miles a gallon on our Traverse the same year. And of course, all your safety ratings aren't posted yet. 